Hi, I'm Tom with BFID and in this tutorial I will show you the workaround that I use for not having view filters in Revit LT. And I will show it on an example where I have two floor plans, electrical floor plans. And on one floor plan I have only receptacles and on another floor plan I have only switches. And even though both of these families are electrical fixtures, they appear only in this view. Let's start with my sample project, which is this small spa. And I have created a floor plan, which is electrical plan. And in this electrical plan, I have placed uh, some receptacles and also some switches. Both of these families are from the default Revit library, so they are electrical fixtures, so they are the same category. But I would like to have two floor plans, one on which there will be only switches with lights, and one of which where there will be only receptacles. So I can duplicate this view with detailing, and I will rename it electrical receptacles. Okay, so I've got these two uh, electrical plants prepared. Now in full Revit installation, you could actually use uh, view filters in your visibility graphics overrides, but in Revit LT there's no such possibility. So I will use the workaround that I will show you in this tutorial. First, we need to know that these uh, receptacles and switches which are shown in the floor plan are not actually electrical fixtures but they are only symbols so if i go to visibility overrides I will, i'm using the shortcut vv and i go to electrical fixtures and i override the line color let's say to magenta nothing changes here even though these are electrical fixtures I will go to the visibility overrides again and I will clear this override. Why is that? It's because these are symbols. So I have to go to annotation categories and they are generic annotations. I have to click this plus on the generic annotations. And I can actually see that there are no subcategories. But when I change these generic annotations to magenta, you can see that all of the symbols of receptacles and switches have changed the color to magenta. But obviously, I don't want to do that because if I would have other generic annotations, they would be also magenta. So I will again clear this override. This is just to show how these symbols work. And to separate the symbols of receptacles and switches, we will actually have to modify the families. So first I will select the electrical switch single and I will go to edit family and we'll be changing this family. And so that I don't, don't change it in my, as my default Revit family from the library, I will save this family and I will save it as, and let's say save it to desktop and I will have it the same name. So I will save it. And in this switch family, I will go to the floor plan view. And here, there's the symbol. The symbol is nested family, so I will edit this family. And in this symbol family, I will go to manage. And I will go to uh, object styles. I will create a new generic annotation subcategory. Okay. So I will create a new and I will name it switch. And we'll be under generic annotation. I will go OK. And this is enough. Just the subcategory. Click OK. And I want to move all of these lines into this subcategory. So I will select all of these lines and in this subcategory I will click the drop down menu and I don't want it to be just generic annotation but the switch annotation. Okay. I will load it into my family and close and I will load it 
not into my uh, project but into my switch family okay i don't want to save this one i will override the existing version here and here i will close it and i can save it and override the existing version in my project so now this switch this symbol should be in the subcategory of the generic annotations so if i go to annotation categories generic annotation and i click this plus you can see that i've got new subcategory which is named switch and i can i can override just this subcategory so i will click it and i can choose to so that it will be magenta and you can see that this switch here this switch here it's over there's a receptacle and switch in one place but all of the, uh, uh, every piece um, every instance of this family changes the color i've got different family here this is the double switch so i have to edit this family too i have to modify it the same way so i will go to edit family i will save it as a to create copy to my desktop uh, save now let's go to the floor plan let's choose this symbol let's edit family here go to manage object styles create new and it's important to use the same name for the subcategory so switch and okay let's pick this line let's pick these lines and let's move them to the subcategory switch close save into the switch family or load it into the switch family i don't want to save this one override existing version save and override in my project and you can see that even these switches the doubles are magenta so all of the families of switches are modified so i can go to my electrical receptacles floor plan and here I will switch these symbols off so i will go to visibility override annotation categories uh, generic ones and here switch i will untick the box so now the switches are not visible here i will also make it so the lights are not visible here it's uh, model categories so electric uh, lighting fixtures well, Atlantic here so in my receptacles floor plan only the receptacles are visible but again in my electrical lightning I can still see the receptacles so actually I have to again modify the receptacle families the same way as I did with the switches so let's save them to desktop let's go to floor plan let's select the symbol edit family modify create new category new subcategory and name it receptacles okay okay select all of these lines and move them to receptacles load it into the outlet family Don't save it overwrite and load again overwrite the existing version and yep so when i go to visibility override here annotation categories generic annotation receptacles i can untick receptacles go okay and you can see the receptacles are not visible in my uh, lighting plan and switches are not visible in my receptacle plan and in my receptacle plan again what i like to do is to have those receptacles in magenta color so i can override just this subcategory and all of the receptacles are magenta colored so this is my workaround for revit lt 
for not having view filters as in uh, the full version of Revit it's not as useful as having view filters but it solves some of the problems of not having them. If this tutorial helped you smash that like button and take care.